Welcome back to Dingin, Georgia. We got some fun crap going on in my backyard today. Hi. It's Emily in her pool. Enjoying the, what do you want? What? What are you doing? I want. You drinking that? Yes. I need you to open No, I'm doing. Alright, go ahead, go down the slide right now. Let me get out of here. Try to get out of here. I'm not. Gonna... Emily's going to attempt to slide into her pool. It's probably better than the water park we got around here. Go. <laughs> and I need more water. Control. No, that's that's enough water. You can't put no more water in that pool. Crazy. Alright, since we're done with the entertainment. I got a thing I want to do today with my compost bin. I tilled it yesterday. Oh, well, yeah, yesterday. And um, it's real gooey. So what I've been going to do, I'm going to get the whatever's decomposed here. All this nice stuff. It's turning real good. Look at that. It's like, ugh. All this goody good good in there. What I'm, in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack it inside. I done put some on the top of my, what's these things called again? <laughs> Cilantro down here. I don't know if that's going to hurt them down here or not. I don't know if it's going to suffocate them, but we'll find out because they're kind of being late. Both both sides are being kind of late. It's seven to ten days. I don't think they've been in the ground for seven days. Might have. I don't, I don't know. Saturday. I found them last Saturday. So, y'all do the math. <laughs> But uh, five, about almost eight days, seven days or so. I, said, I give another three, four days. If they don't, I probably have to, if they don't pop up, I'm gonna till it up with that stuff in there and plant them again. But I uh, got some of my beets popped up on me down here also. I put some of that stuff around the beets. I'm gonna water it down real good when, when the sun goes down. Uh, what I'm gonna do, majority of is Let's put around my bush cucumbers. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys. <laughs> Trying to get all the stuff that's not too big packed in there. I don't want to clumps or nothing, but I get some old piece of fruit. Shouldn't be too bad, but you can get them. Nice scoop of that, as you can tell. This is real gooey, which is good. Gooey is good. I'm gonna take it over here to the garden. All right, did one of them. What I'm gonna do is I put all the all the vet, decaying vegetation and compost. I put it in there with my bush cucumbers. I'm gonna do it all around them. Pack it inside there. Water them down real good and see how that goes. Show you what I'm going to do. I don't try to fall in my garden because I'm going to hurt them. This junk stinks too. I think my dog might have took a crap in here somewhere. She's been running around lately. Got a dog crap around here. Maybe it was just a compost. Some of my old corn. Throw that back in there. Well, that's what I'm going to, going to do is just pack it in here. And give it more moisture. And then a decay down there. Give it more nutrients. Emily and the dog at this time was going at it. All right, pack around.
Just like that, you want it all packed in there as you get this kind of stuff. I don't think it'll hurt it. But, you know, some of us tell me to go ahead and do it like I'm doing. I feel it's right. It ain't, I'll pay the consequence of it, I guess. Dogs are back at it again. Barking and barking and barking. It's all wet and moist and form, so whoa, kind of fell in there. That should do it right there. I want to do. I'm probably gonna thin out my cilantro area with that stuff because it might be kind of thick. But uh, if y'all wondering about this little bottle hack thing, it's like real simple kind of thing. I'll show you real quick. Just a bottle, poke holes in the tip, maybe one or two on the sides, cut the bottom out, scoop a little hole out and put it on in there. Put water inside there. I'll show you, I'll show you the water and process how it looks. Here it goes, just put it right in there. It'll go down. I think you can get bigger bottles. Do the same thing. But. See how it does. See how it's going right down there. Some say you can do this like for vacations. With the bigger bottles. But I don't see how. Because my water is. It's just going right down. And going down there. So. I'm not really about worried about vacations. <laughs> one took one. I want to say it worked because it's you know it's going down. Well, that one's holding the water now. I guess more once you start getting more dirt getting packed in here, it'll hold water more. But uh, it slowly drip out. But uh, I guess it's that's how you do it. I mean that's what the I seen on the hack part on the one of the little videos I watched about some bottles doing stuff with plastic bottles instead of wasting your bottles. You can you know do something like that with them or what I got left. Probably can make little planters out of them, a little potting soil in there, and plant with it. And it's, I don't remember seeing nothing like that on the hack, little hack thing, but I can make little, good little planters. Put a little dirt in there. Could put a couple seeds in there. Let them let them grow up. Got some plants. Got a little old, one of the bottles, a regular water bottle. Got a big old water bottle. But uh, that's how you do it with that. But I'm gonna do a round zucchini also. The same way with the other, but the compost heap stuff. I'm gonna plant it, mix it all in here. 
And I might do it with my, with my squash too, my yellow squash. If, if I don't run out, I doubt I'll run out, but never know. I might do it with the butternut. Might need some support, but I need to get some more hay like I plan on doing. Brown squash. I did the other ones. This is like this is like being on the fourth floor or something. That's what it feels like. Digging around on the forest floor, digging through some junk. Get all four of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my squash, get them all nice and neat. Maybe carry on to the butternut. Lot of lawn quillet beans in there and the hay with the corn husk they seem to be merging pretty good together if you got lawn clippings look at that it just turns to thick old gooey goodness so it's still going to break down but it's going to go into the soil with the plants going to create that moisture and it's going to also give it a, you know, stop the, stop the weeds from coming. Get a little bit of weeds. And I might need to put more of the hay down. Bad wood chips. I probably do wood chips. But, got a lot of grass. I'm gonna try to keep my squash pretty good because I want them things to be booing and going a little longer than they did last time. And I might want to go ahead and invest in some stuff to keep the bugs away also. I've been seeing a lot of them squash bugs out here. Steep bugs. And I don't have those size these. Ain't nothing to bother them yet. But these are just babies. Eating on them. Who knows? Once you get this stuff on it, they might try to come and tear up my squash. Maybe not. On to the butternut. I think I might be having a, I'm gonna have a little time with these um, butternuts because 
what I've been seeing on other videos about these things. They yeah, grow pretty crazy. You know, them things, them fruit get like this. they big. But I have to deal with it. There's a part of the dragon in it. <laughs> you got any old vines in there? This is from them, them little flowers I had, I guess. The um, uh, morning glories that didn't succeed too well. There was no glory in that morning. Yeah, this stuff is moist since even with all this heat out here, man. Cool, moist. It will help these plants out. No chemicals. You don't want nothing. When you do a compost bin, don't put anything that's been had chemicals in it. Uh, you lawn clippings with chemicals or anything like that. You want straight up good stuff and no chemicals. Can, that can hurt the plants if you can have chemicals or whatever. If it can stay wet like this, it makes them pop out pretty good, don't it? Nice and healthy. Running in circles. All right, let me get back to my brown gold. Also, I had to take a little break. It was getting kind of hot. Sweating like a, sweating like a hog, man. Got this one young buck at work. <laughs> uh, that boy is sweat. Looked like he done jumped into a swimming pool with his pants and everything. <laughs> is too much sweat a bad thing? I don't know. I don't sweat that much. I sweat, but I don't sweat. You gonna sweat more at home? Is that bad? I also miss it makes a little bit of dirt in this in my compost bin not a lot it was it might have been dirt from maybe from uh some of the garden stuff i just chunked in there like a smooth little tiny layer of dirt but um it seems to help help the process also not not a lot of dirt but it's a little bit to get something going
put some around my little shishito. Pepito. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to do today. The garden. I give a little water in here in another 30 minutes once that sun truly gets down past some oak trees over there. I'll go ahead and give it a water. But that should have do them in. I don't know if I'm going to... I might put some on there today. I don't know them radishes. Turnips. I let them get a little bigger. See how that goes. I might... I don't have to do something. I mean, here's, a, here's what it looks like. This dirt looks like. It's like a crust on there. Now the sand mixture. It's still moist and soft under there, but it's like sand, man. man. Looks nice. That, that wet compost makes that thing look nice, man. These are all, all in the shade, ready to go night night. Help us, we need some water. All right, I'll, I'll take care of you a little bit. You don't need no water. He's lying to me. That damn pea. The peas are lying to me. Look at him. <laughs> I think I got the mutant kind. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to get that big. Maybe the next time, next time I get some peas or when I dry some peas out, and I'm going to space them a little better. I didn't expect it to be like this crazy, but it's good. That's good. All right. Thanks for coming by and watching out, watching the compost. Heat and digging. Hey, don't forget to wash your hands after doing that stuff. You know, my mom, she tells me that uh, there might be some special fungus in there or something that this stuff can make or whatever, which could be, could be possible. So... Listen to your mama. Wash your hands before you eat. This after doing this kind of stuff. Don't stink. Too bad. But just wash your hands. It's like playing in I don't know. Playing in something. Something nasty. Alright, y'all take care. Have a good afternoon. Have a good weekend. If it's too hot. Stay in the shade. Drink some cold water. See y'all next time. I can turn this phone off. <laughs>